What's going on boys, Quake Fee here. Now, Loba's abilities are officially uh, released. They're like literally on the Apex Legends website. They just came out today. Um, so yeah, this is all of Loba's abilities in detail as long as, as well as some in-game examples that they showed us in a little uh, in a little video that we're gonna get into right after I go over this. So you have Loba, High Society Thief. This is her background. If you wanna leave it, I'll leave the links to this stuff down. The, if you wanna read it, the links will be down in the description. Um, this is her name, Loba Andrade, I think is how I pronounce it. She's 34. Um, now these are her official abilities. So we've had a lot of leaked abilities going around and actually surprisingly, the leaked abilities were pretty accurate this time around. So you have her tactical, which is burglar's friend and she can teleport using that bracelet. Now, something that I already watched the, the, the little video showcasing her abilities, but the three, there's apparently three bracelets. So apparently she might have three charges on this teleport that she uses with her bracelets which would be really strong. And now you have Eye of Quality, which is her passive. Now this is actually one of the strongest passives in the game, just from the looks of it. Uh, nearby epic and legendary loot can be seen through walls. That's insane. Um, and then you have her ultimate ability with Black Market Boutique. And this is basically, it sucks all the loot up in a vicinity. And it says each friendly or enemy, which means enemies can take advantage of this too, can take up to two items from this ultimate. So overall, her kit looks amazing for competitive Apex and it looks really good for ranked. So I'm definitely gonna be playing her um, and seeing really like what are the limits to this character and like what we can do with her. But okay, so here is the short. So let's watch this real quick. Style and class have come to the Apex games and her name is Loba. Enough flirting, save it for when we win. But don't let looks fool don't look. you. Don't look, you guys are looking. Her glamorous appearance is matched only by her lethality. I'm always dressed That is a sick shield. finisher. The most notorious thief in the Outlands. No item is safe when Loba's on the hunt. All that loot looks heavy. Let me help you with that. Her fashionable jump drive tech allows her to teleport and swipe Look how, look at the range of that thing, man. the best part, looting your corpse. She can throw that far. Or quickly maneuver around her enemies. You yeah. made the mistake of taking So that I confirms wanted. she does have Enhanced multiple charges. Vision allows her to see high tier loot through structures and at distance. I know what I like, and I know how to get it. Loba's ultimate take all... is powered by her black market staff. Shops open for business. This sophisticated boutique allows her squad to cycle through all loot That's in pretty the great. City and pick their pleasure. I came here for revenge, but I'll stay for the treasure. The Apex games have never looked so good. <laughs> A wolf never gives up her prey. Poor Revenant. So yeah, that is low, but now a couple things I actually want to point out about this is, is first of all, all right, I know you guys are looking, bro. Stop, all right? Stop. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, so yeah, you see how the loot was floating here? So when the loot floats like the this, most notorious what that means is, is that Black Market Boutique is, is is being used. And obviously this whole teleport thing that you're seeing is an obvious sign of that as well. So if you see this happen, you know that there's a Loba using her alt nearby. Um, now, another thing. <clears throat> so right here, and swipe she throws one up, right? She throws a bracelet up, now for the teleports. Best part, and watch this. Corpse. Or quickly maneuver around immediately her. throws another one which means she has at least two charges but from what we've seen she has three bracelets so she'll probably have three charges of this um but yeah enemies you made the mistake of taking what i wanted enhanced vision allows her to see high tier loot through structures and at this is going to be really really good her her passive is going to be very useful especially in ranked because Especially armor. Armor is a huge thing. Extended mags are a huge thing. Being able to find those pretty reliably with this her passive and her ultimate is going to be huge. Um, the only thing that I'm trying to figure out in my head is like for the highest level, so like the pro scene of Apex, is where is Loba, who's she going to replace? Because right now it's like, I think it's Wraith, Gibraltar, Watson for the most part. Um, so I'm curious of what one of those legends she's going to be replacing. Distance. I know what I like, and I know. And then lastly is her ultimate, which we saw. And if you guys didn't catch, and I think I, I might've said it, I think I said it when we were going over abilities, but you can only take two things out of this, um, which means you can't get everything in it, but um, you can get a lot of stuff, especially you split it between your teammate. Now there's one thing that you really need to look at here. When they go into the shop, you can see a golden R9 here. So that means two things. Either there's gonna be a gold R9 
in next season. You know, when they always, they always change up the gold weapon, so the gold R9 could be the next one. Um, or, or, oh, also, down here, I didn't even realize this, there's a gold Spitfire, too. So, uh, yeah, there could be a gold Spitfire and a gold R99. Now, you also have to think is, this is, no, this is a more far-fetched, but what if they vaulted the R99? I, as you guys know, they vaulted the Devotion before. What if they vaulted the R99? Like, they put it inside of a, a, a um, supply crate. That would be really interesting, and it would definitely switch up the meta, because right now, R99 is what, like, every high-level player is using. <laughs> so, yeah. But either way, you have a gold Spitfire, gold R9 here. And, um, yeah, so those are all of those abilities kind of in action, and they're looking really really good yeah guys that's all of loba's abilities overall i think she's gonna be in very very useful legend um i think she's gonna be super super strong and ranked and the what i'm curious about is how she's gonna if she's gonna break into the pro meta because there's a i would say there's three different metas in the game there's the pub meta a public match when you're just playing for fun there's the ranked meta and then there's the pro meta and there's always like three different legend compositions um weapon loadouts that you know people use in each one of those so I'm curious of how Loba's going to do in each one. Um, I think, honestly, she has the potential of being Wraith, where she literally works in every single one. Um, so yeah, man, I'm hyped for this legend. I'm hoping she's good. I want, a, I want a legend that actually breaks and changes the meta. And yeah, man, I'm hyped for Season 5, which will be out tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. So definitely, you know, if you haven't yet, subscribe for future Apex Legends videos. And uh, leave a like and leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think about Loba's abilities. But other than that, guys, I know this is kind of a short one. Um, but yeah, also thank you guys for all the recent support of my videos. It's been absolutely insane recently. So thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, that's all for me guys. I'll see you guys in season five tomorrow. Peace out boys.